Lysol kills 99.9% .9 of germs. I am that 0.1%. I am the germ. I still haven't found the keys to the P.O. Box, but uh, a couple people said they mailed me things, so I'm going to see if we can make it to the post office today and see if anything came in the mail. What do you guys think? Anything come? We're going to find out. Still can't find the keys, though. We have no idea where those went. It's been about a month now, and uh, I've checked everywhere. I'm not sure where they are. Beautiful day here in New York. Weird, weird week. We started out at the beginning of the week in the 70s, mid-70s, and it's the end of February here. So mid-70s last week, we had two days of that. The very, very next day, it snowed, and we got like five or six inches of snow. The day after that, it poured rain. And uh, here we are today, and now it's sunny again, and I have no idea what the outside temperature is. It says 39, but it feels a lot warmer than that. Um, I don't really need my jacket today. It's just really, really bizarre weather. I'm starting to think Al Gore was right. He did invent the internet. Got to roll by the FDR home. Can't really see much there. They usually have these big uh, rolls of hay. They look like huge cinnamon rolls that hang out in that field there. Dairy Queen, that place is the best. They never close this year. Usually they close for the winter. This year they didn't close. There's the diner. That place is awesome. We had some other places over here, a little antiques. An old Pizza Hut that was converted into a diner that's now closed. A little place if you have to get your clothes cleaned. Got to have the Monroe muffler, right? Just in case you need a new muffler. And we have a CVS over here in this plaza here. We got two CVSs about a mile apart. Doesn't make any sense. And then we got our McDonald's. I think I'm going to go inside today. We got the famous McDonald's double drive through And one weird thing about this McDonald's is if you don't want to go through the drive through you have to drive all the way around the building. So you have to drive past the drive through cars, merge, and try not to hit the cars that are next to you, and then voila. I know um, a lot of people are using the drive through now, including myself. I use the drive through a lot, and they don't seem to have... A lot of counter help in here so not a lot of counter help in here but hopefully there is today because I'm gonna rush you never know how many cars are in the drive-thru you, you order your food you come around that corner and one day there's no cars the next day there's five so it's kind of like hidden once you order they kind of screw screw you they, they once you order and you come around that corner it's always a, a mystery it's a surprise <laughs> creepers got my McDonald's cup with my straw Pretty good, Klerski. Pretty good. I'm doing some work here. Built, rebuilding up this plaza. I used to work in this building here when I was a kid. Grand Union. I don't know if anyone heard of Grand Union. I used to work right in there when I was 18. And now they're redeveloping the plaza after being vacant for 20 years. It's amazing how fast time goes by. 20 years ago, that was... 1998 that plaza right there that grocery store has been vacant pretty much since 1998 it's insane how fast the time went by <coughs> and uh oh man and the main building there grand union they had a store in there for about a year called the amish market and it did not do too well it was actually really nasty i saw one time i got some food from the salad bar and they had like a hot salad bar and i saw one of the employees find some food on the shelf that someone put in a uh, container and then they put it back. Pretty gross. Now I know why they didn't survive. We're taking the back way into the post office. Let's see. Now I don't even know if they're open yet. These guys, these guys got banker's hours. We're gonna have to find out. We're running real quick. Okay, odd. Very odd. So I got. I told you guys earlier. I, I lost keys. 
for a brand new PO box I haven't even used yet. And uh, I go into the post office and they say, we don't have a PO box 818. I was like, uh, well, I just bought it. It's only been about a month. And she goes in the back, takes a few minutes, comes back, says, nah, nothing's there. So I go, okay, that's interesting. I said, uh, what, you know, what do you, what am I supposed to do? So eventually they looked and they're like, all right, yeah, we, we found your uh, thing for the PO box. Uh, you just haven't got any mail yet. But uh, a couple people said they mailed me something. So maybe they really did mail me something. Uh, but I don't know. A couple people mailed me something. So it's weird that I haven't got anything yet. And you could, you know, you, they have the little windows in the peel box. So you can kind of peek in. I saw there was nothing in there. But I figured maybe, you know, they saw something that said the germ on it. Didn't notice what it was. And uh, maybe put it to the side. But I don't know. They said they got nothing. Camo Dave said he mailed me something. And uh, Klerski said he mailed out a sticker for me. Uh, we'll have to wait another week and check back again because unfortunately I can't make it here uh, during their business hours. And unfortunately, this isn't one of those peel boxes that are open all the time. You know, when you can just walk in the post office when you want. So we'll check back another time. I got to go to work. So uh, I'll creep on you guys later. Thanks for hanging out with the germ. We'll talk to you guys later.